one of the things that's added to increasing that as well is over the past five years, we have not seen um, the turnover rates that we had prior to that. So we have more people staying longer that are becoming vested. Um, what we're not um, immediately seeing um, the reflection of, but we will probably in the next couple of years, is that it used to take only five years to vest. Now it takes 10, um, which doesn't affect the contribution, but it will on our payout side. Um, so that will help down the road as well. What's the criteria for retiring with the county? Is there a basic criteria for them? Rule 75. Um, when your years of service and your age equal 75 and you're at least 55 years old, you're eligible for a full retirement. There's a reduced early retirement benefit if you've not been with the county for 10 years um, or more, but you retain reach Social Security retirement age. Um, there is an option for, for a, um, an early retirement there. Um, or you've got just you know, people who may want to work on um, past that that have retirement um, as, as well. What is the percentile? Just the initial percentile if you make the 75 rule threshold? There's, um, there's about five pieces of that calculation, and it is determined by your total years of service mm -hmm. and the average of your five highest years earned um, times like 0.75% or something like that. And every year the employees receive a statement from the ACCG mm -hmm. that reflects what their monthly um, benefit amount would be. Um, based on when they might choose to retire. Because yeah. I know like some plans, they say if you do the 75 rule, the initial percentage is roughly 30% right. of your current salary. Right. right. And that's what I was trying to get up. The total there. <coughs> yeah, it's, um, I'm not sure what that total, I, I don't think that we calculate based on that, mm -hmm. um, because it depends on which points you hit, whether you're the early Reduce the early unreduced the rule 75 or the, the total amount. Um, one of the things, though, that we started this past year with our employees is we broke them down into categories based on when they would initially be eligible for retirement. And we have had um, our 457 provider, which is um, an accessory to your retirement that's pre tax um, with, with uh, deduction, um, that you can have options on how you want to invest that. It's allowed for government employees. We've had him come in and sit down with the employees who were 10 to 15 years from retirement because at that point it's not too late for you to plan, but you better start planning if you have not already. So that they can look at, based on when they might want to retire, what that percentage of their salary would be at that time, whether or not they're just paying in 457, um, what if anything they could expect from Social Security um, to help them through that process. Pension plans worry me. Well, uh, you brought it up uh, in the last year. Yes, we did. Uh, we did that. And uh, hopefully, we'll have some kind of documentation. Uh, I just, long term pension plans in, in the world we live in today really scare me. That's what the bankrupt law Yeah. Right. And, and, and I think it needs to be a blended um, percentage, and I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's 50 50, 60 40, 75 25. But, but I, I just think the long term health of, of the county financially would be some kind of blended retirement plan. Okay. Um, so, some things that Pearson wanted to read it on our health care costs. Um, we're, we're watching that and the loans program. Um, and also, I don't even know what to do. 
you know, 